Hey everyone, Aaron here. Welcome to the video. Some Celsius updates having to do with the convenience class. And at the end of this video, I'll go over everything else going on with Celsius, including people that are still having issues, any updates on the mining stock, future distributions, and just everything like that. But I first just want to cover this. The ability for people to get out of the convenience class if they elected to be in the convenience class, that was approved a few weeks ago, and people are getting emails starting yesterday. People are sending me their emails, which I'll cover a little bit later, and a lot of people are deciding to click that box. So what I'm gonna do in this video is just walk you through what this election looks like. And this may be a little bit boring, but then I'll go through some of the different scenarios of why or maybe why you shouldn't click that box if you are in the convenience class. And really quick, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, which is Aura. Now I've been talking about Aura for well over a year. I've been using it every single day for over a year. It permanently stays on my phone. And why I like them is they are basically an all-in-one online identity protection suite of products. They do everything from financial fraud protection, looking after your identity, even things like privacy assistant, parental controls. They have their own VPN as well, so you can save money there if you're using a different VPN and even an antivirus. So if anything happens with your identity, they will let you know immediately. A lot of people in crypto, especially with Celsius, have been targeted with all sorts of different attacks, email attacks, getting physical mail, but even also getting their identity stolen in all sorts of different ways. They also help get your information off the dark web, which also helps keep your identity safe as well and keep your personal information safe. So they are offering a 14 day free trial if you want to check it out, which I highly recommend you do if you live in the United States. You can go to the link, which is aura.com forward slash Aaron Bennett or scan the QR code on the screen. And once you're there, you can click this blue button on the website, which says start your free trial. All right. All right, guys, and now let's get back to the video. So starting out, if you got the election revocation form through an email, you will need to submit it by May 10th by 11.59 Eastern time. So we still have a very long time to do that if you do want to take some time and think about it, but I'll try to make it as simple as possible in this video. So this is for people who have a claim between $6,045 and $9,333. So if you have a claim in between these amounts, you probably got an email only if, only if you accidentally or intentionally dropped yourself into the convenience class. If you did not drop into the convenience class, that means you are getting what everyone else in Earn is getting and you did not get an email. So if you didn't get an email, don't worry about it. But if you know you're in the convenience class, which I'll get to later in the video, meaning you got $3,500 in crypto and you didn't get the email and you are above $6,045, then there's a problem and you'll probably want to contact them to get that email. So if an account holder did not make the convenience class election and you also hold claims below $6,045, then your claim will not be altered. So again, your claim needs to be between these amounts in order for you to have even gotten the email to get out of the convenience class. So the reversal of the convenience class elections is optional. If an optional re-election claimant, that would be you if you got an email, takes no action, that person's convenience class election will remain in effect, meaning their claim will remain capped at $5,000, and therefore they will just get the convenience class treatment, which is $3,500 in crypto. So basically, if you got an email or get an email, and it has a number in one or two or three of these different classes, and you do absolutely nothing, what that means is that you will not get out of the convenience class and you'll stay in the convenience class. So this is, I believe, the email that people got. It kind of goes over the same thing again. If you don't do anything, your claim will still be capped at $5,000, and then you will get that $3,500 
amount in crypto. Again, this is just for people that have a claim between 6,045 and 9,333. If you received an email, so if you received this email that I'm reading, basically, you have been identified as an optional re-election claimant who previously made the convenience class claim election on your account holder ballot. So basically, if you got this email when we voted, you click the box to drop yourself into the convenience class. Sorry if this video is super repetitive. I just want to make this very, very clear for people. And again, if you want to get out of the convenience class, you will need to submit your election form. There will be a link and you will have a password in your email. You need to do this before May 10th. So the convenience class means that you will only get liquid crypto or crypto equal to 70% of your claim. So if you're getting this email, that means that your claim was dropped to $5,000, and that means that you got $3,500. Now that $3,500 would have been priced at these amounts. So $42,973 for Bitcoin and $2,577 for ETH. So if you were to multiply how much Bitcoin and how much ETH you got by these respective prices, if that equals $3,500 or very, very close to it, then that means you have been dropped to the convenience class. If you have already received your initial liquid crypto distribution and you do not elect to reverse your convenience claim election, you will not receive an additional distribution. So again, if you're getting this email and you don't opt out, which I'll show you how to do in just a moment, you will not get any more crypto, you won't get any stock, you won't get any future distributions. And they're saying here that there probably will not be any further opportunity to revoke your convenience claim election. So if you don't do it now, before May 10th, you will not have another opportunity to do it again. And I forgot to mention that if your claim is above 9,333 and you did opt into the convenience class, you will automatically be out of the convenience class. So this optional re-election, what I'm making this video about, is for people that have a claim between these two numbers. But if you're above 9,333, they are assuming that that was a huge mistake, which it would have been, and you are automatically not getting a convenience class claim, and therefore you're getting the general earn claim, which is the liquid crypto stock and future recoveries. So if you elect to reverse your convenience claim election, you will basically receive an earn claim. You will be getting what everybody else is getting. So there's a couple different classes that you could have money in when it comes to what your email looks like. So right here, you could have some for class two, which is if you have a borrow claim or you took out a loan. General earn, this person that sent me this has $6,603. You may also have something here for withhold as well. So this is what your form will look like something like this, and it'll obviously have numbers here or dollar amounts here, like I just showed you right over here. And this is the box that you will check if you would like to revoke your convenience claim election previously made on your account holder ballot. So basically, that's it. You will click this little box. And all of this other information should be accurate. I think when you log in, you should be able to see your personal information. So just make sure that everything is accurate there. So this creditor decided to check the box. And I believe he got this email from Stretto. So it'll have your name. And if you changed your address, and if you did, it would probably have your new address here. And the response here should definitely say box checked, if that is indeed what you checked. So before I go on, I believe that Stretto is sending confirmation emails now. I think people got on their case to send these emails so there isn't any miscommunication or I did it, but you don't have any proof. Even so, I am pretty OCD about things. I would still record your screen just because I'm a weirdo. You don't have to. I mean, if you get an email that basically says that you voted a certain way, which I think they're doing. You probably don't need to record your screen, but if you want to, you still can. And I think that future payouts, if you get out of the convenience class, 
will probably come the same way as the first payout. At least I think so, but that's not really important. So let's talk about if you should opt out of the convenience class if, again, your claim is between these two amounts. So if you got an email, the lowest your claim would be is $6,045. So $6,045 times 57.9%, because that is what we are getting as our initial crypto distribution percentage, 57.9%. That equals $3,500. So essentially, you would be getting the same amount of money had you dropped into the convenience class if you just decide to get out of the convenience class. So already, to my brain, and I'm not giving you any financial advice here, talk to a lawyer, do whatever the heck you want. But this is the math. $6,045 times the initial distribution equals what you would have gotten anyway. So if your claim is anything above $6,045, which it can go up to 9,333 for this email, you will get more than $3,500 of crypto. So for my math, it makes total sense to get out of the convenience class and checking the box that would be here on your form. And if you decide to click that box, you will get 14.9% of mining stock, which you otherwise would not if you're in the convenience class, 6.4% of a liquid asset recovery. That can be variable. We don't know for certain about that. And then the 5 to 8%, these are just my numbers, but 5 to 8% for future recoveries, maybe more, maybe less. We're not quite sure. A lot of this has to do with future litigations like clawbacks, going after insiders, going after tether, and all that kind of stuff. So my math makes it seem like it makes sense to click that box. So I wanted to give you all the facts because that's what I'm doing here. And I'm not giving you financial advice or anything like that. But the math kind of works out, at least in my brain, to click that box. And then again, you would get an email that looks something like this, where your name would be here, and then you would have an address change, yes or no, and the response right here would be box checked. So that's basically it for this email. You have until May 10th to do that, but if you know you want to do that, it makes sense to do it now. And if you want to record your screen, you can absolutely do so. And let's change the color to talk about something else. So a lot of people are still having issues, having issues with PayPal, KYC, having issues with their distribution codes, not getting them, they're not working. Some international people are having issues getting a wire or a check sent to them. More people having issues with their distributions. So I just wanted to let you know if you're still in that boat that are having issues with PayPal Coinbase or something is wrong and you're not able to get your crypto, that you are not alone. Celsius does have this updated distribution FAQ. I will include this below. And at the top right, if you have not submitted a ticket, which I assume most of you guys have already for your issue, if you're having an issue, this is where you will submit a ticket. And if you have not gotten your Ionic Digital stock, you will click this. And right here, there is a link, which you can click this link. That will open up a website here. And then you can email them right here. I guess you can call. I'm not sure how effective calling is, but I would just email them. So regarding updates from Ionic Digital, there has not been anything since April 2nd. So everybody is just patiently waiting for updates on the stock. You can't sell it. You can't buy more. You can't transfer it to your own brokerage account like Schwab, E-Trade, Fidelity, Vanguard. You can't do anything right now. So we're still waiting, no updates there. And regarding future distributions, I think it's gonna take a while for those to come too. Definitely next year, we'll get another distribution of people that never claimed their crypto. I believe they have one year to do that. So there's still a lot of time if you're having issues with your claim codes, no rush, they'll get to your case. But after a year, there will be a lot of people that just completely forgot about Celsius. They threw out their computer, they decided to never think about crypto again. And that value, that crypto will come back to us. And then all the different litigations that the litigation oversight committee is doing, those will 
come over the next, I don't even know, one, two, three years, because a lot of those can take a long time. So guys, that is it for the video. Just a quick update. I'll keep you guys posted as more information comes. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys are doing well. And until next time, talk with you soon. And bye for now.